Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use SSIS package dataflow task to import SQL command data into an Excel file. So let's add a new package and drag dataflow task into package designer and double click on dataflow task and drag source assistant. Now let's take your source type. My source type is SQL Server. So let's select new and then click OK. Now enter your server name and select your database name and click OK. Now open OLDB source and select your table or write your SQL query. So Let's copy our query into here and go to columns and click OK. Now go to destination and select Excel destination from here and drag mapping. Double click on this and select new here and define your Excel file path. Now because my source is related to customers I'm selecting my file name as customers.xlsx and then open. So it's automatically de detected as 2007 and 2010 format. Okay. Now let's create a sheet under that workbook. Click new. So there is no sufficient information about mapping exercise types to data types of the selected .NET data provider. That means the data type that it shows may not be compatible with our SQL Server version. So let's see the uncompatible data types. So here, integer we have in SQL Server and varchar we have in SQL Server, but date time two of seven, this is not in the right format. So let's change it to date time and let's change it to date time. So all others are compatible as per SQL Server version, right? So let's change the sheet name as our source customers. Now let's click OK. OK. Now select, it shows two basically, but that means both are same. You can select whichever you want. Any doesn't matter. Now go to mappings and make sure all are mapped here and then click OK. OK, now start execution. So 403 records loaded into Excel. Let's go to Excel file and open that. So it has header and number of rows are 403, right? So this is how we use SSIS data flow task to import data into an Excel file. So this is a basic task if you have any transformations or any other derivations, we can use other transformations in SSIS. So thanks for watching my video. If you like, please like, share, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you.